Hello and welcome back to Ice and Fire Season 2. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse of the grass here growing. We literally sat and um, watched grass grow. Yeah. Um, but I have done a little bit of stuff off camera. Actually, a lot. And oh dear, hello. 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 Goodbye. Be gone. Thank you. Give me a tooth. <laughs> Give me a gold tooth. Um, anyways, yes, as you can see here, I've extended the dirt here a little bit. And also, I've extended the crops because I have figured out that this... We have some really, really good crops here. Like, the food here, if we can just get enough of it, um, it's really, really good. Also, I do not fancy being hit in the back by you. So, if you could please be gone. Thank you. And give me those arrows. They're useful. But anyway, some of this is actually really, really good. So the corn, for example, right here, it actually gives you three uh, meat sticks, which is equi equivalent of cooked chicken. So that's really, really good. But not only that, we have the sweet potatoes here. And they're just one, but if you cook them, you get baked potato as well. They also have three meat thingies. So that is not bad at all. So I'm definitely going to be growing these, and these um, apricots are actually two. So if you get enough of those as well, you're sorted. So I'm really happy that we have these, actually, because that's <laughs> that's going to make life a whole lot easier. Um, okay, I'm going to just plant these extra four seeds here. Perfect. And now I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I have done off camera now just before we continue with the rest of the episode i do just want to say that i am going to update the mod pack very very soon um with the latest version of ice and fire as well as probably tweaking a few other things as well like those hunters spawning i just feel like they spawn way too often i i want normal mobs to spawn not not weird hunters so just just i guess plugging it that you can get you can get access to the Season 2 mod pack if you uh, pledge on my Patreon page. Link down below in the description. So if you wish to support me, that is a great way of doing it. Plus, you get access to the mod pack. It can be as little as $1 a month. So check it out. Link down below. And you support me a great, great way. Hey, horse. Actually, I should give you a name, right? We'll probably have to do that later in the episode or next episode. But anyway, I have done a lot of stuff off camera here. Um, if you watch, look at this. This is now fully cleared, and I have actually done some markings because we will be working down here today. Apparently, there's a cave somewhere. Um, but we will be working down here today in this episode um, because this is going to be the place where I'm going to be doing my immersive engineering stuff. So, if you didn't know, that is part of the season's... Uh, mod pack if I could spell there we go so all of this is part of immersive engineering and if you don't know what it is it base it's basically a tech mod um, but set back in time so we're talking about water mills and yeah it's it's like the old stuff not the fancy new technology we're talking water mills windmills and stuff like that and not cables but actual hanging cover wires that transfer power and stuff like that and I know that isn't specifically Ice of Fire related, but it is part of the pack and I really, really want to play with it. And I have other mods as well that I really want to play with in this season. We will get to, dra to dragons and whatnot in the future when I'm actually stacked and have good enough stuff and when I actually find one. Um, yeah, you know what I mean when I find stuff related to Ice of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that is what I will want to do in this episode, and I have done some research. This book is amazing, by the way. Um, so we have power generation here, and I want to make power, basically. And for that, we need one of these, which are very easy. We can make those right away. But the thing is, we need to either make a water wheel, or we need to make a windmill. And for all of that, we need what is called treated wood and before we can make that I need a bucket of creosote and the way you make creosote is in the coke oven so we need to make this basically and if we take a look here the coke oven I'm actually going to bookmark that there we go the coke oven is made by sand brick and clay 
So we should be able to make this very, very easily. But there's another oven that I want to make as well. Actually, two. I want to make um, the blast furnace, basically. Which is this one, right? Uh, wait, hold on. All right, there we go, bookmark. Um, the blast furnace. I want to make the blast furnace, basically. And the reason why I want that is because I want to make a... Okay, that book does not look right. <laughs> wait, does, does it do that with any book? No. Interesting. Anyway, um, I want the blast furnace because I want to make steel. Because if we take a look at the steel, not, not, not steel as in stealing, the way we make it is either by doing this, but we can't have access to that yet because you get that from crushing steel. So what we need is to put iron ingot into a blast furnace right here. So that is why I want the steel, uh, the blast furnace. Now, another one that I also wanted to make was, uh, what was it called again? Okay, I found it, it's right here, the kiln brick. And it's very easy to make as well, sandstone and bricks. I don't remember what I wanted that for, but I just remember I wanted it. So that is also part of today's to-do list. Now, if we have time, I do want to explore even more with my horse. I want to see if I really, really want a um, dragon bone skull thing. So I really want to like go in that direction and just see what we find. So let's get right to it. Uh, firstly, it seems like that we need to sleep. Also, it seems like that I need a shovel. Um, and then we can actually get going with some of these things. I've got to start with the coke oven because that can run while we do other stuff because then we can focus on the blast brick. Now we may wonder, well, I don't have access to the nether yet. I don't have any diamonds to make the portal. Well, we found an abandoned portal not so long ago, and that actually has magma blocks. I did check, and it does have magma blocks, so that saves us a trip to the nether. Now, I already have sand, so all I need now is clay, and I'm just hoping that we will get enough from the lake over here. If we don't, it's going to be really annoying, but as we have a lake here, I think we will have enough for what we need to do. I'm thinking of just making one of each thing. Um, so yeah, that would be like, what, eight clay for three bricks. And I think we need like, what, 27, 30 or something. So we don't, we really don't need that many, to be honest with you. I could do the exact math, but I don't fancy doing that. So I'm not going to. All right, I have a stack of clay. I'm going to throw that in a furnace so that it can cook while I pick up the other clay so we can get moving. I really wish more things could go into the blast furnace. Oh, my baked potatoes are done. Sweet. Perfect. So far doing very, very good on the clay part here. We actually have a lot in this river, so I'm just happy that I don't have to go very far to get it. I mean, that is going to change eventually, but I don't think I'm going to need all of this. So... As the river is quite big, I hope that we, it will sustain us for clay for quite a while. Um, but I guess we'll have to see. Oh, the corn is ready for harvest. And boom, four corn. Like, it, it's so easy food. Like, this is so easy food. It's amazing. Now I have three more seeds that I need to put in. I think it's about time that I eat one of these. Inconspicuous bean can. I don't know what this is going to do, and I'm kind of terrified, but here we go. Whoa, jump. Wait, why did it throw my armor off? Excuse me. <laughs> jump boost, speed, strength, glowing, regeneration, slow falling. Are they all going to give me that? They can't possibly all give me that. That is a lot of potion effects. Okay, next time I'm hungry, I'm eating another one, because if they are, that's going to be very helpful during dragon fights. Okay. Um. Overpowered? I remember now what I wanted to kill him for. So, basically, if we take a look at here, Electrum. So, the way to get Electrum, for example, is through the alloy kiln, which is basically combining two uh, minerals into another mineral. So that is why I wanted the kiln. And the reason why I wanted the Electrum is because I can then go from making low voltage, where is it? Low voltage capacitor, which is basically our power bank, 
um, I can make a MV capacitor, which basically are able to hold more power. So that is why I wanted that to have it. So we could upgrade our power uh, storage stuff in the future. And I'm just trying to find where on earth. Uh, wait, Coke oven right there. So it should tell us how to make it. So this is why this manual is absolutely amazing. So if we just watch. Wait, so this shouldn't be there. Okay, so we at least need 9, 18, 27. So we need 27 of these. Oh wait, I need sandstone. Right. Sandstone. So we at least need like... Uh, I, I'm not aware. <laughs> okay, so each one of these will make us three, right? So there. We should have exactly enough. We should have the perfect amount for a whole oven. Ow. So let's remove this. Right. And we place this. Now it did give a red like block right there. But I think actually that reminds me. Um, that reminds me actually. I think we need the engineer's hammer first. Because that is used to make... Um, that is basically the tool that we need to say, all right, construct the multi-block. Because I guess one thing that I neglected to mention that immersive engineering is a mod that really uses multi-block structures, which if you don't know what that is, is basically instead of having one block being a tool, for example, a furnace in this case, um, immersive engineering makes it so that you actually need to make a whole structure and then that structure becomes one machine. So for example here, if I now right click with the hammer, boom, this whole thing is now an oven. Which is why I love immersive engineering. It's it, it has these huge machines, like you have to actually make a whole machine and not just a block. I love it. But now what we can do, if we go in here and we can show recipes, as you can see we can now get creosote oil by either putting in wood or coal. And coal is going to make coal coke, which I do believe, I think is required in a blast furnace in order to function. So I need to make coal basically. I need to put coal in here, which unfortunately I'm not, I'm not super happy about because I use coal for a lot of things. But I'm going to take my remaining coal right here. We will get more in the future. I'm going to take these nine coal in here. And I do believe this thing is not very fast whatsoever. But as you can see, it is running and we should we should get some we should get some lighting in here. Can I place torches on this thing? I can. Perfect. Sweet. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is running and it's running very, very slow. But when we come back later, this should hopefully have a bunch of creosote in it. So that is perfect. Now, just to make it a little bit more clear, why do I want creosote? I want creosote because when I have creosote oil, I am then able, if you watch here, I'm then able to convert wood into treated wood. And once I have treated wood, I can make water wheels and windmills and windmills especially because I want my plan is to put a windmill right up there. And that is going to generate us power. Not a, not a lot of power, but it's going to generate us some power. And I'm very happy, uh, very excited for that to happen. I have a bunch of plants here. Um, and I'm very excited if you can't tell. <laughs> now with the coke oven done and running, I want to make the blast furnace. So for that, we obviously need the brick here, but also the nether brick, um, which is, I guess, another issue. So I think I can put that in there. And we should have enough for this thing, the blast brick. And we should have enough sandstone to also make this. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep it there. Uh, okay, it just looked a lot foggier than usual. We're going to sleep and we're going to head over to the village to the abandoned portal. All right, we are on our way to the village. And yes, I do need to name this horse. I'm still thinking about it. Hopefully by the time I reach the village, I will have made a decision. 
And we have arrived out here. The, the, the bunnies really need a new AI, but apparently so does the villagers. Anyway, we're here at the village and here is the abandoned portal. And as you can see, or ruined portal. Abandoned portal? Ruined portal? I'm not sure. Um, anyways, here's the portal. <laughs> and I have decided a name for the horse. We will be calling him Aerox. Uh, suggested by many pixels 10 so thank you very much for all of your suggestions greatly greatly appreciated now I should say for those of you that didn't get your name picked don't worry we will have plenty hopefully of name picking opportunities later in the future so right here the magma block is exactly what I need perfect I think that should be enough and then I need a bunch of the owl then I need a bunch of these because I need per operation so I need once again, I need like 10, so I need 40, I think. 40 netherrack should do the trick. Hopefully, anyway. So I'm gonna get 40 and we'll head back to home. Also, someone, I don't know when, but someone commented that not all ruined portals uh, generate with a chest. So that is very good to know, if that is indeed the truth. I have not seen a chest here and I feel like I would have already found the chest if there indeed was one here so unless I find one here <laughs> I believe that all right uh what happened there okay my pickaxe broke we got a stack we should be good perfect let's jump back on here and uh, I really do want to go there like I really really want to oh no <laughs> I really oh no am I stuck I think I'm stuck. Oh dear. I really, really want to explore more, but I just... I guess we'll have to do an exploration dedicated video where we just leave and go places and see places. I guess we'll have to do that. I mean, how else are we going to find dragons and dragon bones and whatnot? And also, someone actually once again commented saying that maybe the reason why I haven't found a Mermex hive is because I'm still within the 1,000 blocks of spawn, which I think is very true. So maybe dragons and such don't spawn within those 1,000 blocks either? Because in that case, that that would explain why I haven't found anything yet. Um, because I've, I will admit I have been a little bit worried that I haven't found anything yet. But if that is the case, then, um, then that would explain it. That would explain it indeed. Is this going to work? No, of course not. Why would it? That that would just be that would just be that would be too easy, right? That would be too easy. I'm using a lot of coal here. This is not good. I need more coal. We need to make an exploration episode and we also need to go and make a mining episode. Or a stream. That's possible too. That's actually two pretty good things to do in a stream. Which is a game of great, which is a great place for me to say if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so so you don't miss out on things like that. And also, if you are subscribed, remember to enable those notifications and leave a like on the video if you are enjoying it so far. All right, eight another brick, eight another brick. Is this enough? One, two. Nope, not quite. Wait, do I not have enough magma blocks? Uh, I don't have enough magma blocks. Okay, well, guess I'm going back to the village. Come on, Eric. You and I are take going on another trip to the village. <laughs> I'll be right back. Right. I didn't make a new pickaxe. I have had to downgrade to stone. This is not fun. You never want to go from an upgrade to a downgrade, do you? <laughs> it's not. Nah. No. Nah. We will never speak of this again. Alright, I think I have enough. Hopefully. Um, we, we're gonna find out. <laughs> so, we're gonna enter down here. I really would like some sort of other kind of elevator. Anyways, how is this going? How is this going? Ooh, so we have seven already and we have three and a half uh, buckets of creosote oil. I'm pretty sure that is what I can translate that into. Um, so, let us now make the blast furnace. So, I think... I'm gonna assume that it's like this. Okay, I'm gonna assume that it's like this. And it is! Yay! Alright, so this one... We need iron and... Okay, so I can take uh, four different kinds of fuel. I can take charcoal, 
coal, block of charcoal, okay, and coal coke. Okay, so charcoal being the worst, coal coke being the best. Okay, that is very, very good to know. Now, I wanted to also make this, if I can. And if I have the materials for it, I should. I'm gonna get two per operation here, so that means that once I get this one, I should be able to make two. So let's do this. That's not enough. Let's see. So we go here, we go here. 16. Yeah, I need more. Alright, should now have enough. I hope. I have no idea how to make this thing. Um, well, I have an idea. I just don't know if it will work. So I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be the same thing. Oh, hello. So I'm gonna assume that, oh wait, I didn't. Oh no. Um, I didn't, I may have to, because if I, no. Oh, but then I'm gonna lose all this. I don't wanna place it over here because I have all the plans for this area, no. Um, you know what? You know what, I'll do that another time. I, I don't want to deal with moving that right now. No. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something different. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's gonna look terrible as well. <sighs> to be honest with you, I'm just gonna put it over here. Because the thing is, out of all, all of them, this is going to be the easiest to actually move and deconstruct. <laughs> so we're gonna make it right here. And I'll move it later. How about that? Yeah, that's how that's how I'm gonna do it. Yeah. All right. So, this should work. Oh, it's a two by two. Well, I didn't know that, and that's why you look in the manual, people. Right. Well, if it's a two by two, um, <laughs> uh. Okay, that, that's my fault completely for not looking in the manual that I have been saying is so amazingly good, and yet... Okay. No. I, no. We're not talking about this. Don't comment on it. Okay, so... Just like that. I'm just gonna do that for now, and... Now it won't... Oh, wait, that... What? All right, there we go. Um, looks a bit weird, but okay, I'll take it. So basically in here we can make a bunch of stuff. So we can make constant, we can make electrum, and we can make bronze. That'll be useful in the future. I just really wanted to make that as well. All right. Okay, I cannot take this guy that's out here anymore. He is making a lot of sound. I don't like it. And sir, could you please just die like your fellow other zombie kind? Thank you. What was that? Excuse me? I'm sure I just saw something orange over there. Kind of frightening. Alright, so I just want to show you what we can actually do now. Um, so, I'm going to take out this cold coke. And I'm going to put one in here. Well, all of it. And I'm going to put the sign in here. And this as well is going to be very, very slow. But... This should then make steel. I don't know why I'm making steel now, but it's cool to have, okay? It's going to be very nice to have, because if I'm missing in any project, I miss any, then it's going to be an absolute pain making it. So, that is really cool. Now, what I can also do is take this creosote. So, it, take 1, 000, it took 1,000 MB. So, now we have a bucket of creosote. And that I can then put into a crafting table. Uh, come on. And then I can surround it with wood. Like so, and I now have treated wooden planks. So now what I need to do is I need to get a bunch of more coal and I need a bunch of more uh, creosote oil. Because once I then have this, I am then able to make windmill blades. Which I can already start making now, but I need like eight of these. I think. Actually, yeah, I need exactly eight. So I need to make a bunch of this. Um, probably got to do that off camera. I am considering doing a mining slash exploration stream. Um, let me know if you would want to see that down below in the comments. But that is basically right here why I made those two. And I'm very happy with the progress so far. So I don't know how long this episode is. I'm guessing 20, 25 minutes maybe. And there we go. We have steel. 
and slag, which I could use to make concrete, apparently. Or sand. Okay. Cool. Um, but yeah, that is that. I don't know how long this episode is. I'm gonna find out. So basically, in the next episode, we, we're, we're gonna have power. Maybe. At, at least I'm gonna try and make a windmill, and uh, hopefully we'll get some power from that. Um, that's the plan, anyway. Unless I decide go, that I'm gonna go mining. I think I'm gonna do a stream, though. I think that'd be cool, don't you think? Alright, so I just saw the length of this episode, and uh, yeah, yeah, we're done for today. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is long enough, but we did a bunch of good work. So I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. And uh, yeah, in the next one, I think we will either be doing a windmill stuff. And let me know if you want to see a stream, a mining stream, just a chill mining stream and maybe exploration as well. Let me know if you want to see that down below in the comments, because if you do, I think we'll have to do that before the next episode. Um, so let me know if you want to see that. But anyways, that's going to be for this one. And in the next one, hopefully we'll have a windmill set up. Or something else. If we stream first and something cool happens, um, maybe we find something cool that we want to do first. I don't know. But anyways, with that said, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and uh, goodbye. Banting me